Is that the baby? Yep, that's the baby's heart. Baby's alive and well. PROMAC, the program for reduction of maternal and child mortality, is made possible through the European Union and the Government of Jamaica. Through their help, medical professionals in Jamaica are better equipped to help save the lives of mothers and babies all across the island. In this video, we're focusing on improvements at Victoria Jubilee Hospital in Kingston, Anato Bay Health Center in St. Mary, and St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital in St. Anne. The Fetal Maternal Medicine Unit is the only one in the island, and we accept referrals from all over for high-risk pregnant patients, as well as fetal abnormalities. So this, the structure, and a clinic was already set up, but what the structure lacked was the human resource. So it didn't have a fetal maternal specialist to actually run the unit. And so through the training um, organized through the European Union, with the Ministry of Health and the University of the West Indies, we were able to, to use our experiences to, to formulate a, a, a particular plan that will ensure that this unit runs effectively. It was an 18-month course. It involved a lot of different um, specialty as well as, um, of course, obstetrics, emergency and complications that we see for both mother and fetus. The first batch, it was three, three of us, myself, Dr. Campbell, and Dr. Thea Davis, who now works at Mandeville Regional Hospital. A portion of the training was done overseas um, where we were able to see what is done in other first world centers overseas. So Dr. Campbell went to the UK, myself and Dr. Davis went to different centers in the States. We got donations from other civil society that helped to, to, get, to get equipments and things that are needed to, to, to ensure that the clinic runs smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. In addition to training doctors, Promark funded building expansions at Victoria Jubilee Hospital. So this is a new 8-bedded HDU, which is an upgrade from what we have presently, which is 2-bedded air, which is essentially a recovery. So this is the brand new maternal floor inside the hospital that has been designed by APEC, which is a local Jamaican architect firm. It's been funded by Promac, and inside of here there is an operating theatre, there's five new areas for people to stay and recover and spend time with their children, as well as an intensive care room and new office space for the nurses. This project definitely for our setting will definitely improve the aesthetics for which our staff work and will improve on the amount of lives that we are able to save here. We're here at the Anata Bay Health Centre where there's a general health centre and on Wednesdays there is a focus on maternal health. We actually have once a week a high-risk antenatal clinic where we see between 60 and 80 persons. And the ProMac donations have benef benefited us greatly in this regard. Um, despite the fact that we're just about five minutes away from the hospital, if you have a, an unborn child in distress or a mother that's not doing well, it can seem like an eternity away. With the donation of a ProMac ambulance, we're now able to quite quickly and expeditiously move our mother to a place of tertiary care, so we are very, very happy with that. Further, we have gotten a number of lab equipment, we have gotten a centrifuge, a serifuge, a hematology analyzer, and also a chemistry analyzer. We know we are able to process samples right here on spot. For our antenatal mothers as well, an ultrasound was donated, so the obstetricians are able to do sonography on their patients, so no longer do we have to send our patients to a type B facility all the way in St. and or ask them to do it privately, but they are now able to benefit on spot from those equipment, so we are very thankful. At St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital, Promac funded the building of a new neonatal high dependency unit and a maternal high dependency unit. It's open. It's open. Yes? Right, so this is a six bed neonatal high dependency unit. So these are the six beds here. Um, in each cubicle we have um, our piped gases, our piped oxygen, our piped air. This area is for the more 
critically ill um, neonates who need ventilator support. We also come apart from these six uh, neonatal beds, issue beds, with two isolation rooms. So right here at the side, you see it's labeled neonatal breastfeeding room. I didn't understand we are a um, breastfeeding friendly um, institution. Similar to the neonatal high dependency unit, the maternal high dependency unit has isolation rooms, intensive care units, and a nursing station. Where's the next nearest similar unit? How many people are you serving? We don't have similar well, unit. We are the on Kingston. So in Kingston, 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 Kingston and the Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Yes. So there are quite some region, yeah. So Northern region. We are the first. Okay. Yeah. So we are the regional hospital. Regional hospital. We're for the hospital for the North East Regional oh. Health Care. So yeah. not just the one parish. Yes. 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 So we are receiving some of our patients come from far as Portland, wow. St. Mary, and of course St. Anne. St. Anne. And some St. sometimes come from Falmouth. Falmouth. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. We still have equipment and we have, of course, staffing to work out. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. So the ProMac project is very exciting to me because they're saving lives of so many people and they've just provided so much more equipment and facilities for the doctors to continue to serve the people of their island. Absolutely. What was really inspiring for me is that the training's been given and even in places where there wasn't an investment in infrastructure or even equipment, that training's been taken to open up new clinics and it's really inspiring to see how the, the doctors team, especially at Victoria Jubilee, have gone on to create something and train other people to, to keep that education and support going. Are you excited? Yes, I am. <laughs>